I guess it's actually going to get cold enough to make me do something here about the garden. Didn't really want to, but it's supposed to get down below freezing tomorrow night, so figured I would go ahead and, you know, take some preventative measure. I'd be a fool to to get it looking this good versus spring anyway. I know it still doesn't look great, but be a fool to let it look this good and then turn around and let a frost kill it. So I'm going to rig me up a little uh, hoop house here. Nothing fancy, but show you what I've got. <coughs> I got some of these old pieces of rebar here. <clears throat> you can see I used them for electric fence posts. <clears throat> I see how long they are. I was thinking about three, three and a half feet, maybe three foot three. Yeah, three foot four. Three foot four. Um, so I'm basically going to cut them in half. So they'll be 18, 20, yeah, 20 inches long. I'm going to pound all but about three or four inches of them into the ground. Leave that little stub sticking up. And then I'll have to run to the store to get me some uh, gray PVC conduit. And I think on this little four to five foot wide, what it is, hopefully I can bend that enough in a 10 foot stick. 20 foot stick would be really awkwardly long. 10 foot stick seems like it might be kind of tight. Might actually put the, I'll put the post in it at an angle. See, because if you put them vertical, of course, then your, your PVC has to do that full 180 degree bend. If you set them at an angle, it's a little less of a bend it has to do. I'm not sure what the optimum angle would be. Kind of thinking I ought to go get a piece of I got a piece of three-quarter PVC. It's not the gray PVC. Look at a stupid cat in the garden. You're probably gonna take a dump. It's not the gray PVC, but I've got a scrap of just thin-walled PVC I can go down to the Connex box and get. But that's the plan anyway. Uh, and then we'll get a piece of relatively thick clear plastic. So again, I'm gonna have to take a trip to the hardware store. And uh We'll get that rigged up over the garden here. That's the plan. So I got the grinder to cut them in half. I got a small hammer to start them, big hammer to finish them if necessary, and my tape measure. Got some cords laid out. So let me go grab that scrap of PVC and kind of see how it feels. Um, yeah, I think going vertical is gonna be too tight. Let me get that piece and see how it feels and see where I go from there. All right, so let's see if I can do this or not. This is a 10 foot stick. Now this is thinner walled stuff. Gray PVC is probably going to be a little bit thicker, I would think. Let's just try this as a test anyway. Walk them out, walk them out. Never claim to be the strongest man. At least, unless I'm talking to my kids. Look at that! We can do it. That's some work. It's pulling pretty hard out. But I think... Hopefully, driven in 18 inches, it will uh, it'll hold. Look at that cat stepping into a mouse trap. Go away, kitty cat. Go away, kitty cat. I gotta let go. You are such a fool. <laughs> he doesn't move. He's stone cold. All right, so that looks like it's gonna work, actually vertical. So let's cut some of these puppies in half and let's go vertical with them and see what happens. Okay, so for every two we cut in half, for every one we cut in half, we get two. Uh, <laughs> I'm an engineer. <laughs> um, so, I've got two that are clean here that already have the insulators off of them. Oh look, they're different lengths. One's a little longer than the other one. Hey, this tape measure's cool, it's magnetic. Bet y'all couldn't tell that. All right, so they're both different lengths and neither one of them is exactly 40. But we'll go with the 20-ish length right about here. Get her hacked in half. For the record, I do own a real metal cutoff saw. It's just not here. Ugh. Well, that little cut wheel doesn't do too bad. All right. 
Let's try to pound one into the ground. See how that part goes. Boy, they seem a lot shorter now, don't they? They seem shorter than 20 inches. Only about three to four inches sticking up there. Oh! Y'all got the wind, huh? All right, now let's see if we can tip it up. Let's see if I can do it without making the one side rip out while I step the other side on. Put that one on there. Oh, come on, seriously? It's not even that windy, people. Get your head in the game, come on. Seriously, get it together. You'd think I've been doing this for a while, huh? that I like that it's simple it's kind of clean kind of cattywampus and off-center so it'll drive my wife nuts but I think it'll do the trick now it's got a little bit of wobble to it obviously but I think you know what I've got uh, I've got enough posts to do I got five more posts so I could do and the two here let's see I got two here five more that I could cut in half I can actually use seven hoops over this which is way more than it needs first big rain we get is gonna somehow pool on it and collapse the whole thing probably um, but it's not supposed to rain in the next few nights anyway when it's supposed to be so cold so let me get the rest of these slapped on here and uh, then we will um, well, I have to go to town and actually get the gray conduit because, again, this is just a test piece. i got to get the actual UV stabilized conduit. But, yeah, I like that a lot. All right. I got all the stakes hammered in. Let's see if we can't bend the rest of these poles over. I went ahead and only got four of the gray PVC. Technically it should all be the gray PVC because it's UV resistant, but I figure that white PVC will last me through spring anyway. Save my three dollars for later. Alright. <gasps> I don't like stepping in my garden. Ferns here coming back up. The ones I planted this spring that seemed to die and disappear, now they're wanting to come back. Everything from the spring is wanting to come back. I got sweet potatoes over here, I got potatoes. <laughs> here's a kitty cat. He'll come get me. Oh, he's up on the deck. All right. All right. Now the real trick will be the plastic. It's a little breezy today. I got a 10 by 20 3 mil. I preferred something like a 6 mil. They didn't have it. 
and I wasn't going to go further into town to a different store that might. 10 by 20. The poles are 10. The length is the length of the bed is 13 feet, so the 20 should give me a little extra length on each end. Try to get all this on here before the wind comes and ruins it for me. You know what I forgot to do a gotta do a ridge pole. But if I can just get this much on. <laughs> I'm exactly ten feet on the poles, like I said, so don't have any, they didn't have any plastic slider in that, so I don't have any slop down here to put weight on. The only thing I can put weight on is gonna be the ends, which is probably also a recipe for disaster. But if it doesn't get too windy, <laughs> If it doesn't get too windy, I might survive. I might get away with it. In case anybody's paying too close of attention, I know this isn't perfect, and I know it's not going to last. And I've done this before, that I have built something cheap and temporary and then it fell apart. But, like I said, my goal with this, honestly, is just to keep the frost off the plants. I'm not really looking for this to be a true hoop house season extension sort of deal. Um, it's just cold hardy plants in there anyway, broccoli and and uh, cabbage. Those might even tolerate a frost. I can't remember if they do or not. But I just figured what would it hurt? Throw this up over there. Doesn't look great, but it doesn't look bad. Looks like a cheap hoop house. I'm gonna get um, a ridge pole. I've got some extra pieces of PVC. I'll go at least put a ridge pole on here and see if I can find some way to get some little nails or tacks or something maybe I can tack the bottom of the plastic down man I hate to start punching it full of holes though uh, see if I can come up with some way to kind of secure that down I'll let you know I'll figure something out all right well <clears throat> there it is as promised and I suppose about as soon as I go in the house to sit down and warm up a little bit the wind will peel it off here and trash it but couple things beds 13 feet long stick a PVC I had for the ridge only 10 feet so go figure what's that leave well it leaves a gap at the end so if we get any precipitation the rain will magically pool here even though there isn't really a low spot but it'll pool right there and it'll cave the whole thing in uh, as far as securing these edges this is the quickest and simplest thing I can come up with just put up a board tight against the plastic and then pop it in there with a couple of nails i'll regret that in the spring when i go to dig in the plot in the uh, garden bed here and scratch my hand against the back of those nails and then find myself driving them all back out no sooner i put the plastic on a little puff of wind came up peeled it right back off so even though oh it's gonna happen it's gonna happen oh there's the test oh it held even though um I gave myself extra room over here. See, it should be 10 feet end to end on the pole, which means the plastic should go all the way to the ground on both sides, but it doesn't. Can't really explain that. Well, maybe it's the original it takes a couple inches out. Could be. Um, the plastic doesn't go all the way down. You see the wind's doing its best here to tear it apart already. But I didn't get any, I was hoping to get a little tail on this side that I could throw some dirt on to hold it down, but I didn't get it. So I pulled as tight as I could, heaped some dirt up on this end and on the opposite end down here as well. So hopefully it looks like 
it hasn't blown off since I pulled it tighter and put the dirt on it. Again, even this little rippling I mentioned at the start of the video, I'm not doing this for real true season extension. This is more of a get me through the next couple of nights when it's supposed to freeze. I mean, it's supposed to get up to about 50, 50 or 55 tomorrow if we ever get some daggum sunshine, but then it's supposed to get down below freezing tomorrow night because it'll be clear skies. So if this gets the soil warmed up tomorrow, um, maybe helps that soil put a little more heat off tomorrow night, even if it's, you know, air leaking all around the edges, I'm okay with that. So, like I said, it's a rough and simple beginning. I know it is not a long-term permanent solution, but it's one of those deals where it's basically, it's what I had on hand, except that I had to go to town and buy a bunch of stuff. <laughs> so, anyway, I'm just rambling. Quick and simple hoop house. Let's see if it saves my broccoli. Well, my first little hoop house here survived the little bit of winds that we had. Actually better than I thought it would. I figured it'd get peeled off for sure, but it survived. And of course I went in and did my research and uh, decided I probably didn't really need to do this. Broccoli says it's good down to 26 um, degrees Fahrenheit. And then it didn't really specify that it would kill it below that maybe it just burns the foliage but the plant maybe still stays alive I'm not sure uh, but we only are gonna get down to maybe 30 last night maybe 30 tonight or maybe tw maybe maybe 28 tonight but not 26 anyway it doesn't hurt to do it the extra heat gain during the day might actually help promote the plants to grow a little better I had this other drop cloth here that I bought yesterday um, just in case I thought maybe I was gonna have to hoop my uh, my in-laws garden but all they have is kale and surprisingly enough kale is good down to like 10 degrees from what i read so no sense in hooping their garden um but i went ahead and brought it out here and it's it's 10 by 20 and it just so happened that what i've planted so far is only 10 feet worth of length so i just laid it flat over the ground here just for that extra heat gain same as with with the you know what i mentioned here so it's really not a true hoop house at all because the edges aren't even tucked all the way around they're just tucked on the side so it doesn't blow off um but the idea here is just heat gain. When the sun comes up again tomorrow, it's beating on this plastic. Hopefully it'll help warm the soil. I've got some spinach and some radish in there that I really want to get up and going. There's some, some onion and some carrot that if it sprouts, okay, great. If not, no big deal. Oh, look, it did get cold enough last night to kill my sweet potatoes. We had a frost this morning, no doubt about it. So yeah, actually you can see what damage is done. The frost killed the sweet potato vines. They were green yesterday. They're all dead today, which those are remnants coming back up from the spring, so I don't expect anything under them anyway. There were Irish potatoes somewhere. That one there. Yeah, that one got stepped on. Here's one. It's popped and dead. Um, but look inside my little hoop house here. Oh, yeah. You guys look good. Feels nice in there. Feels nice. <laughs> Marmot. Anyway, yeah, so you see what the frost did to the plants that couldn't tolerate it. But the other ones did fine. So anyway, I want to get this spinach and, and radish up sooner rather than later, especially the spinach. I would just like to have some fresh greens for the family through the winter, and it should be cold tolerant just fine. So I want to get it sprout. So I went ahead and just laid this plastic on here just to kind of help warm the soil and, and promote it. Uh, that's all. I think that's it for this video. We'll have to see how they do.